this could be one of my most important videos. Cue the fire two times. This is how bad it is. We are talking brink of war and no one sees it. And then you're like, who is this clown? And what is he talking about? Well, let me just tell you, the, the clown is protecting you from something that is going to, well, run you over and quite possibly dismantle you. And I don't want to see you dismantled, but you're like, Bravo, that is clearly a bull. I am all in. Do you not see the, the, the number go up? Fib retracement. First time I've ever done it, Bravo, and it says 50. This is the first time the media says it, it's a guarantee. Well, unless you're Michael Burry, who knows how to do fib retracements. Poor baby Jimmy. Jimmy, what are we doing today? Oh, yes. Go all in. Bear market over. Full on bull market. Which is kind of weird because I haven't seen really the capitulation yet. Have you? Have you felt it? Huh? I haven't, I haven't felt it. How about the Fed? The Fed reverse course? No? Huh? Okay. How about that inver inverted yield curve? That's, that's all taken care of now? Oh no, we, we've only just begun. So what do you want first? The war or how, how to trade? Here, Michael Burry. Contrary to the internet and the Twittosphere, there have been bear market rallies that eclipsed 50% retracement and led what? To a lower low. So if you think that this is the lowest low on a bear market, well, I'd like to sell you some uh, some some lakefront property because you're gonna need it. April, 1930, November, 1938, June, 1946, and since 1950, November, 1968, depends on how you define a bear market rally or a cycle and life, charts also i left out jamie here um the guy makes a lot of money i'm just saying and uh he, he's telling his clients sorry i had to throw my phone into the other room <laughs> jp morgan ceo also i want to just say i am very sorry that sometimes i forget i have my phone in my pocket and then people text me and you're like dude you're filming can you shut your phone off please we're currently in church jamie diamond told wealthy clients there's a chance the U.S. is headed into what? Something worse than a recession. Again, we haven't even started. And everyone's like, I'm going all in. Yeah, bear market rallies do that. Okay, now let's go back to China. And when I said it, this is really bad. We're talking war, China collapsed, their economy's collapsing, it's rolling over. I've been warning about it for about uh, a solid six months. Would you say six months? Um, it is not looking good, and I just want to back it up. So li just listen to this. It's about 60 seconds. Good morning to you. So what kind of response can we expect from China? Well, Taiwan has, I mean, sorry, China has already announced military drills, the Eastern Theater Command of the People's Liberation Army. You know, we have a lot of generals and admirals in China. They know that China shouldn't start a war, but they're itching to kill. And in these situations in history, Carly, when, you know, when they want to kill, they eventually succeed in doing so. So this is one of the most dangerous moments in history. And Gordon, we've seen so many escalated military drills China's carrying out and missiles fired over Taiwan. Where does this head? Where are we headed now? More of the same? Um, I think that it's going to be actually war. And the reason, you know, uh, Henry Kissinger in the uh, Wall Street Journal article um, said, look, we are on the edge of war with Russia and China. And I actually think that he is right. You know, you were talking about today is marking one year after the fall of the Afghan government. Well, one year ago today, China issued propaganda saying that when they invaded Taiwan, not if, now mm -hmm. when they invaded Taiwan, that the island would fall within hours and the U.S. would not come to help. Ta-da! No, bravo! Russia's not going to invade. Like, come on. This is all. These are all just games. Why would they go into Ukraine? Why would China want Taiwan? Why would... Um, our president is going to put a stop to this. Guys, this is... You go back up a billion years. These are market cycles, which on Wednesday, I will have a... A, a nice video for you. Uh, Steven Van Meter's coming on. We are going to talk 
market cycles so you can kind of pull back and look. So make sure you subscribe. Actually, make sure you check to see if you've been unsubscribed because that's what, yesterday I lost like a hundred. It was like, poof, I'm like, where, where'd they all go? I mean, it is just a constant fight between me and YouTube. Also, I want to say thank you for the likes. Look, see, see, 99%, 98%, uh, you guys give me lots of likes, but then I fight, look, views. 67,000 views. Oh, YouTube's like, oh, we'll make sure the next one's not so good. 40,000 40, for you. It is like an abusive relationship over here. <laughs> oh, I love you. I hate you. But I do know that you guys love me and I love you too. Thank you for always allowing me to pull back the curtains of how all of this works. And I could be wrong. I will uh, I will take it on the chin if I am. Uh, just, just give this some time. I know, all, everyone wants... If you want to swing trade it, sure, go ahead. Swing trade away. You pull back, uh, be ready to, to get to your, your pants pulled down. China's factory orders. That's what I'm talking about. Drop in ominous sign for global outlook. Well, what do you think that means? Well, Bravo, did you not see our first quarter? It was, was great. Well, it was okay. You guys, it la a lot of lagging indicators, right? I'm telling you, oh, over the cliff we go. All of those sales that we had are going to turn into, ah, where'd all those sales go? And where'd all the people go? And where'd all the products go? Oh, wait, we have lots of products. Everyone is stuffed to the guild. Or I'm sorry, the gills, like a fish. I, I know, I don't know why you would want to stuff a fish to the gills, but let's just say that's what Walmart is. It's, it's, it's like a big fish or like a puffer fish and no one wants to buy it. Oh, also speaking about Walmart and buying it, oh, you have an earnings call coming up. So do you know what that means? Actually, also on this one, uh, there, this is, someone asked in the comment section, this is the daily. See up there, it says D, uh, right here, D. That's the white line or blue. It, it depends on how I turn it. That's your 200 day moving average. I don't swing trade below the 200. And the last swing trade I had on Walmart was this one right here. Uh, you got a beat down, you hit the 200, you put in a buy, you wrote it. This is WMT from there, the red line to uh, there. That was 8.43%. That would be one candle below the Bravo 9. That is the red line. But it was a green day. So you could have, you know, it's a good song. They, they have good music. You may have waited to the next candle where it was red. Okay, close your position. Then definitely, oh, you have to exit prior to that. Also, link in the description for a course on how to swing this so you can take your small account and make it a big account. Or you could just do paper trading. It's just as fun. You could... Go brag to your friends. All right, so this was the day before. Or this was, right, you exit prior to earnings. Could have saved you how much on car insurance there, Bob? Uh, tw almost 22%. But holy moly, we have a bear market rally. I love it. We're up on Walmart from bottom to top, uh, almost uh, 14, 15%. Also, if you're like, oh my gosh, I hear what you're saying, Bravo. I'm supposed to take my mouse here. I'm supposed to right click so we get, we have earnings and it's it's definitely going to drop. I'm going to right click right what there we go. I'm going to click trade, I'm going to click sell. There we go. And then I'm going to make a whole lot of money. The answer is no. I don't know. All I know is I am risk averse. Adverse, averse. I don't even know what verse it is. There, I, I don't care. I know it may go up. It may go down. <laughs> Look at the probabilities in a bear market. I think it's siding towards the bear. Actually, the only guarantee that I have on this entire chart for you is that trade station right over there. They're giving you 150 bucks if you click the connect button. Fund it with 500 and then take the money and run, Jimmy. But yes, you can connect it to trade station and trade away with me. So we have macro big picture. I don't think this is gonna be well. I don't think uh, the economy is doing well, but digits go up. I'm still going to trade it. <laughs> Even though like you take something that's above the 200, I don't know, pick pick something. Okay. Uh, over there, uh, Dow, digit go up uh, 0.47. That would be DIA. It's S and P 500, SPY. You get above that. Okay. With a beat down, I'm in, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be out because I'm going to ride it. I will ride it. And then we will see. I could be right. I could be wrong uh, about the, the whole economy and, and where we're going. It, I mean, this thing looks like a train going off of a cliff, 
but okay, I'm still going to trade it. China cuts rates as lockdowns and real estate crisis takes their toll. And what does it feel like over there in China? Well, I'll help you. Thank you, CNN, the most untrusted source of news. I'm losing my mind. Yes. Okay, well, I'm sure war will fix that. Chinese depositor loses life savings. Think about that for a second. You lose your everything that you, your, your entire life. Gone. I'm assuming there must be some anger. Hmm. I wonder how they could... Uh, release some of it. Hmm, I, have, I have some ideas. And at the same time, guess what China's doing? The central bank cut interest rates on Monday. And what does that mean? That means the same thing I've been saying. Their economy is getting flushed down the toilet. So they're cutting rates. But the Fed, not yet. So you got to wait over here, okay? It, it's a coming. Although over here, they're cutting by themselves. You don't even need the Fed. The Fed, very, very little. 10-year uh, yield, look at this. It went from 3.6, roughly, I mean, it's up there, to, to 2.6. Oh, and that's a head and shoulders uh, right there, and that's a 200-day moving average, which we will high probability go underneath it. But the bond market, it, it already knows. They're like, whatever, Fed, you do you. Uh, we'll tell you where this market is going. Oh, and like what I've said forever, the Fed just follows the uh, the yield. That's it. They follow the bond market, makes them look like they're really powerful. So when yields go up, the Fed's like, ah, oh, shoot. Well, I guess we got to raise our front end, kind of like every single time. I can bring this chart all the way back to forever. It's the same thing. Made it right up there. Didn't make it to the tippy top which see it gets kind of choppy, little head and shoulders right there. I think probably much the same thing. Now you're, you're kind of seeing that that head and shoulders. Uh, it's kind of kind of gets junky up here. I think they'll make it, eh, I mean, I know my bond friends will be like, no way, it's not getting up that high. I'll, I'll give you two, two and a half. We're currently at 1.6, so we will see. But I do know that the market is like, oh no, the Fed, they're gonna cut right now, right? Oh, go all in on the stock market. I think you're a little early to the game there, Junior. So we have worldwide economies rolling over and you guys are rushing in the stock market <laughs> to buy the dip because you're so used to it, right? You just came out of that. Oh, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. Well, must be a, the time to buy the dip. Yeah, you're, you're just missing the macro. You're missing the big picture on how this all plays out, but it's okay. You'll learn, you go through a few of these. You get how the whole system works. I've done it for a while. China unexpectedly cuts rates. It's unexpected as why? Well, terrible economic data confirms alarming slowdown. Say uh, say goodbye to the yields and say hello to the bond market once again. So understand that too. I think on Wednesday, you'll, you'll get a little bit of a background. So make sure you, again, you subscribe. We'll go, Stephen and I will go over it for you very simply because that's one of my only non-swing trades. I'm okay. Now I need to be totally honest. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I, I mean, I am honest the whole time, but people get confused. Bond, my bond market plays long-term, long-term. I, I, I buy it when it's cheap. I sell when it's expensive. Oil, I'll do the same thing. Buy when it's free, right? <laughs> when oil was, uh, when it was negative. Eh, I think that could be a good time to buy. Uh, I do have a, a long-term 22-year position, 23, maybe 24. I don't know how time goes in S&P 500 that I've just, that is a hodl. I cannot touch that until I retire. Oh, hey, wait, I'm retired. Oh, but oh, wait again, I'm not old enough yet. So I don't need the penalties. So right now I am swing trader. I have fun, I enjoy it. It is like a roller coaster daily. Also I have ADHD, so I love it. I'm like, oh, hey, hey, that's why I have a Bravo's watch list. Look what I'm watching, look what I'm trading. And every single day. So if you're interested, that is also link in the description. But I really created that Bravo's watch list. Just the people call me out like, oh, show us what you're gonna trade. Don't go back in time, do it right now. I'm like, gosh, all right, fine. Here, this morning, okay, and then tomorrow, and the next day, every single morning. Rise and shine, take a look, uh, here we go. You guys, remember these? We're bringing them back. Oh, the value meal. Where? That's not where's the beef. Is that where's the beef? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to the recording. <laughs> the cheapest. Here we go. Gosh, raising six kids. I am such a terrible father. That is what they were raised on. Oh, you wanted ninety nine cents. All, all the kids. I'm like, you get two things. 
99 cents. They're like, I'll take the chicken nuggets and french fries. They're like, are you sure you don't want to do a burger and chicken nuggets? More food, more bang for the buck. No, I'm fine, dad. Wow. <laughs> My apologies. A uh, little, I, I, I saw a squirrel. Uh, restaurant meals become a, a, a relative bargain. Oh, as grocery prices soar, because what the reason for this, and you guys know this, this is not food. Um, usually the things that you find in the grocery store is actually food. My gosh, Bravo, you're so crazy. It is food. Oh, 2006, still looks the same. <laughs> Are you sure about that? The last time I looked at food, when I left it out on the counter, it didn't look that way 30 years. Actually, you want to know who's going to make money from all that? Ooh, that is the pharmaceutical industry. Everyone is going to be sick. They need they need their pills because everyone has been eating plastic. But hey, you're like, well, it's cheaper. At least I can survive. Here is my case for the day. Please don't. I know. I know. I'm the clown. I'm protecting you. Just don't get caught on this. I know the media. Everything is. We're all happy. Everything is OK. I'm. I'd say it's not. Not that you can't trade it, because you can. Swing trade it. That's what I do. And be a clown to try to protect you. But thank you guys for making it to the very end, and I will see you tomorrow.